Can you hear it? That's the Muskoka River. In the winter time. So I'm here, this is the first day we finally have possession of uh, our next project. So, ladies and gentlemen, may I present the Rosewood. Six apartments in that hundred year old building. So we plan to uh, remodel all of the apartments and uh, we're gonna stay in one. We have family staying in the other apartments for now. And then uh, later on in life, as apartments become vacant with family, then we will uh, rent them out to tenants. So, the beginning of our uh, investment real estate careers <laughs> together. So I love this super tall tree. It is uh, March 2nd here in Canada, in Muskoka. So this is Port Sydney. And uh, still some snow around as expected. And um, might be some more snow to come through March, but summer will be here soon enough. So the property goes, let's go to half acre and the property goes kind of up tiers of the hill back there. And that's the Canadian shield. You can see the exposed rocks and stuff when the snow's not there. Okay. So this is going to be, this is going to be a bit of a uh, video tour. I want to take before. This is the before video, before remodel, before uh, before the big changes happen. So this is the uh, the entrance and the front deck, deck up there too. So that's pretty nice. This is all in really good shape, but the apartments are not. So let's have a look at the, the bit of a disaster we have to, uh, to work with. So this is apartment number one with some stuff left behind by a previous tenant. So this one is pretty small. This one and the mirror image upstairs are both pretty small. So. We'll just do a bit of a, a view of what we have to work with at the beginning. Because I have a feeling at the end we're going to compare these and go, wow, what a big difference. No fridge because it wasn't even usable. It was so dirty. We said, uh, take, take it out of there before we uh, take possession. It's a super small bedroom. <clears throat> mega mega small so we'll obviously be making some changes here on layouts and stuff three piece bath that's the shower in here closet but this is probably the smallest unit back the main hallway again and then uh, this is apartment number two. This will end up being where Kara and I uh, live, I believe. So we're gonna make some changes, but this is a hundred year old building and it was a rooming house back in the day. And this apparently was the original like lobby type entrance when you first walk in so this one's got taller ceilings and stuff really nice view of the the river across the street and you can you can hear you can hear the uh the river like the rapids or the waterfall i mean 
The fireplace uh, looks really nice. I'm hoping we can get it going, but we'll have to look and get it uh, checked out to see what that would take. This is a one bedroom as well. The bedroom is teeny tiny again. Not very big at all. All oh, this uh, acoustic tile ceiling, one closet. The floors are in relatively good shape in this one. It's the kitchen over there. Same thing, we told them the, the stove and the fridge were so bad we said, don't even leave them here. We, we don't want to buy the house with them in it. Take them out. You don't have to replace them. You don't have to give me new ones, but get them out of here. So they did that for us. And this is the the bathroom. It's uh, pretty gross. It's all pretty gross. So this is probably the worst of the apartments. It's probably gonna need the most work, I would say. But I think it's gonna be amazing when we're done. So that's apartment two. We'll go upstairs. There's two more apartments on the second floor. Okay, we'll skip, but this is apartment number four. This is billed as a three bedroom. So this is the living room, has a door from the outside. Living room, kitchen gumbo. This one's in not nearly as bad a shape, obviously. And this is the front of the house, so it's the upstairs deck. And the bathroom, or the bedrooms are down the hall here. Bedroom number one. This is the bigger of the bedrooms of the three. Pretty dark and dingy looking right now. Here's a look out the back. Uh -oh. Windows and screen are so dirty, can you really see? Trust me, it's pretty. Oh, we have Jesus is here to uh, keep us on track, I guess. Maybe they forgot Jesus. This one's the smallest of the three bedrooms. I don't know if I would really call it a bedroom closet. <clears throat> the hill out back. This one's teeny tiny. I think it's kind of a two bedroom plus an office or like a bonus room or something. <clears throat> I don't know that one's really big enough to call it a better. Another closet. And this is the bathroom. Okay, this is apartment number four. There's front door, closet. from the hallway that gets you outside to the big giant deck. It'd be beautiful, it wasn't so full of snow. And this is apartment number three. So close to a mirror image of the one below, a small one. stay open. Nice big window. The 
the way the kitchen is set up is a little bit better in this one, I think. And the way they did the closet, <clears throat> the bathroom and closet. There's the closet here. So it's got a bigger bedroom, tiny bit. Well, probably two feet bigger. And then the, the bathroom goes like down the hall. Which is equally gross. Okay. This is apartment number five. We'll go up. We have Smells better already. I'm just gonna <laughs> just doing a bit of a video diary of what we're starting with here. So this is the bedroom. Bit of a walk-in closet in this one, which is nice. Kitchen area. This is the most recently updated of the of the units. This one's in pretty good shape. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Just doing a quick video here of what we started with versus what we're gonna end up with, hopefully. <laughs> Before and after. Before and afters, yeah, that's important, right? Sorry. So this one's got a door to its own deck. That is covered with snow right now, but and then you can access from the outback. And this is probably a better view of the backyard. This goes back quite a ways to the all the way to the road in the back. Okay. Apartment five. Apartment five goes the, across the whole top of the house. Um, that's why it's so big. And um, that's probably the nicest of the bunch. So back up the front door again. And uh, okay, we're going to uh, go to apartment number six that you have to access from outside, but it goes across the back of the house. Very slippery. And this almost is the backyard. Ooh. And the back of the house. Tons and tons of icicles. More snow on that roof, just icicles. This is all the apartment we're gonna go in next. This is what the place looks like from the rear. This is all flat and then it goes up the hill. Okay. Apartment number six. This is a bit of like a mudroom kind of deal to access. It'd be cool if this was like the laundry room at some point in time for everybody to use. And this goes downstairs in the basement. And this is apartment number six. So, got the kitchen in the corner. And then it's kind of the living room kitchen combo. Walk 
walking through into the bedroom slash bathroom. Closet. Little two piece bathroom here. And for some unusual reason, the bathtub is just open. Let's just, just take a bath right there and you can, maybe we can watch TV from the bathtub, maybe, I don't know. So that's gonna change. <laughs> Weird, huh? I think we're gonna do a different bathroom scenario and have a, no, not even have a bathtub, we'll just do a, a big walk-in shower scenario. This is where my dad's gonna, my dad's gonna take over this unit when we're done with it. There we go. So that's it. That's, uh, this is the Rosewood before video. And, uh, we've got a lot of work ahead of us, but totally doable. And, uh, this is going to set us up very well for our needs right now and our need, our wants for the future. And, uh, I'm looking forward to this challenge and the project. So there you go. The Rosewood, everybody.